One way to think about the humanities for me, especially in relation to the, the technological arts, which is, which is where I sit, is it, in, it has become increasingly important for us to question how and why we do things, right? What tools we are using, what systems we are building. And the humanities help us to frame those questions in um, expressive ways that, that become meaningful to us, right? If we're going to start questioning technological advances we're making, um, we don't want to do it in a dry way. We want to do it in a beautiful, expressive, and interesting way. And so to me, that, that is why we must reinvest our interest in the humanities. So games are a really rich set of systems. They're not just one system. Every game is not just one system, right? It's a set of systems. There are the sort of formal elements of the game that actually make it work as a, almost like a mechanism, right? But then there are the, the thematic, the, the um, dramatic uh, aspects that make it meaningful, that kind of um, give us a hook into what it means to play that system. And then, of course, there are, uh, the, there's the, the human element and the cultural element of play where it affects a person, it gets into their imagination, and then it affects the, the culture around that person. And, and, and the person actually is always playing in a culture. With my work, I'm especially interested in human thought, human expression, and um, making games that allow us to play with, say, for example, pieces of literature or ideas around history um, and, and to, to dig into those in a way that we couldn't if we were just, say, uh, given a, a piece of, of linear media to, to explore them with.